tayo ng mas aral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sa iyong mas aral tayo ng mas tuto Upang di kayo masenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Hindi na mataral na tayo Mathematics 4, Quarter 4, Week 3 The topics we are going to discuss are the following. First, visualizing the volume of solid figures in different situations using non-standard and standard units. Second, finding the volume of a rectangular prism using cubic centimeter and cubic meter. Let's have our objectives. Number one, visualizes the volume of solid figures in different situations using non-standard and standard units. Number two, finds the volume of a rectangular prism using cubic centimeter and cubic meter. Let's have a review on what you have learned last week. Examples of solid figures. Here is the box. Non-standard units do not have the same measure of volume for the same container. Balls, marbles, and beans are used as non-standard units for measuring the volume of the box. When we talk about the amount of water in a container, we are talking of a volume. When we are talking of how many marbles inside the box, we are talking of volume. So, what is volume? Volume is the amount of space a solid figure occupies. Non-standard units can be used to measure volume. We use different units or objects like marbles, stone, beans, and others that are countable. When a non-standard unit use is small, we need many objects to fill the container. When we use big units, we need fewer objects to fill the container. What is non-standard? Non-standard do not give consistent and accurate measurement of the volume of a container. Let us study the concept. Zion and Rain wanted to find the volume of an empty box. First, they filled the box with balls, about 38 balls filled the box. Next, they filled the box with marbles, about 125 marbles filled or filled the box. Then, they filled the box with beans, about 625 beans filled the box. Can you see the difference between those objects that they filled in an empty box? Did Cyan and Rain get the same number of units of volume of the box? No, these objects differ from sizes. Non-standard units do not have the same measure of volume for the same container. Balls, marbles, and beans are used as non-standard units 
for measuring the volume of the box. This is one cubic centimeter box. Let us have an example. A rectangular prism is a solid figure that has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Vertex or vertices in plural form is the corner of a shape. Edge is a segment where two faces of a prism meet. Some rectangular prisms have faces that are shaped like rectangles and squares. What about the formula in finding the volume of a cube? So we have here volume equals length times width times height. Or we have side times side times side. Let's have an example. Um, one side of the cubes measures 3 units and other sides 3 and the other is 3 units. Let's multiply the three sides. So we have 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27 cubic centimeter. The volume of the rectangular box is 27 cubic centimeters or 27 cm3. So that figure contains 27 cubes. Its volume is 27 cubic centimeter. Let us study the problem. Macy has a rectangular box. It has a length of 12 centimeter, a width of 5 centimeter, and a height of 4 centimeter. What is its volume? So what is the formula? We have length times width times height. Okay, so the volume we have length is 12 cm times width we have 5 cm times height 4 cm. Okay, so 12 cm times 5 cm equals 60 times 4 cm the volume equals 240 cubic centimeters. So the volume of the rectangular box is 240 cubic centimeter or 240 cm3. That's the symbol of cubic centimeter. Here is another example. Direction, find the volume using the appropriate formula. We have here volume equals length times width times height. As you can see, the length is 18 meters, the width is 3 meters, and the height is 5 meters. So let's multiply. 18 times 3 times 5. What is the volume? Very good. It is, or the volume of the rectangular box is 270 cubic meter. Always remember that volume is measured in cubic units such as cubic centimeters, cubic meters, and cubic millimeters. Volume of a rectangular prism, we have V equals L times W times H. And volume of the cube, we have V equals S3. Note, S is an edge of a cube. Now, let's have your activity. Test 1, Directions. Find the volume using the appropriate formula. Okay, so what is the formula of a volume? Very good. It's length 
times width times height. Let's identify what is length. Okay, the length of the box is 8 meter. And the width is 4 meter and the height is 5 meter. So let's multiply 8 times 4 equals 32 times times 5 equals 160 cubic meter. So the volume of the rectangular box is 160 cubic meter or 160 or 160 m3 okay now find the volume using the appropriate formula second we have this so the formula volume equals length times width times height and the given we have length 2 centimeter width 3 cm and height is 5 cm. Let's multiply 2 times 3 times 5. So the volume of the rectangular box is 30 cubic centimeter or 30 cm3. Okay, so letter B. Find the volume of each solid figure. Use 1 cube equals 1 cubic centimeter. I'll give you 1 minute for one minute to answer. We have here the first and the second. Okay, I hope you are done. So, number one, we have the answer is 8 cubic unit. Okay, very good. Second, 36 cubic unit. Did you get it all? That's nice. Let's have another activity. Let us answer the following problems. Number one, a wooden box is 24 meter long, 20 meter wide, and 8 meter high. How much space does it enclose? So let's have the volume. What is the volume, class? Okay, length times width times height so we have here length is 24 meter width is 20 meter and height is 8 meter so let's multiply 24 times 20 equals 480 times 8 so the volume is 3840 cubic meter Second, problems. A refrigerator has a square base with each side that measures 30 cm and stands 60 cm. Find the volume of the refrigerator. So let's have the formula of volume, length times width times height. Okay, so since it's a base, so we have... 30 the length and 30 the width times the height is 60. So 30 centimeter times 30 centimeter times 60 centimeter equals 54,000 cubic centimeter. Did you get it? Very good. Or the volume of refrigerator measures. 54,000 cubic centimeter. Okay, so now let's have read the directions. Find the volume using the appropriate formula. As you see, we have here box A, B, and C. I'll give you one minute to answer. Your one minute starts now. I hope you are done. So you can type your answer on the chat box. So let's find the volume. In box A, we have 11 cm times 5 cm times 4 cm. 
So the formula of volume is length times width times height. So let's multiply 11 times 5 times 4 centimeter. What is your answer? Very good! It is 220 cubic centimeter. Letter B, 14 meter, 8 meter, and 3 meter. What is your answer? Alright, it is 336 cubic meters. And letter C, we have 12 centimeter, 8 centimeter, and 7 centimeter. So you multiply because the volume or the formula of volume is length times width times height. So 12 times 8 times 7, what is the volume? Very good! It is 672 cubic centimeter. Did you understand class? Give yourself a very good clap. Now, always remember that volume is the amount of space a solid figure occupies. Measured in cubic units and non-standard units can be used to measure volume. We use different units or objects like marbles, stone, beans, and others that are countable. When a non-standard unit used is small, we need many objects to fill the container. Non-standard units do not give consistent and accurate measurement of the volume of the container. Volume is measured in cubic units such as cubic centimeters, cubic meters, and cubic millimeters. And we use V equals length times W times H to find the volume of a rectangular prism. Here, L is length, W is width, and H is the height of the rectangular prism. And we use V equals S3 to find the volume of a cube. Here, S is an edge of a cube. Alright kids, that's end our lesson for today. I hope you learned a lot. Thanks for watching and listening. And please, don't forget to like and subscribe our official YouTube channel. That's all class. Again, I'm Teacher Regine from Amado T. Reyes Elementary School na nagsasabing Matsayang mag-aral, tayo nang matuto. Paalam!